Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Spectacular. We've been waiting forever. I bet you just got in here. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. I don't know how many are here. Let me look. Karsten, Coin Hunting Couple. Thank you guys for being here. Coleslaw, Fierce, NC, Young Coin Hunter. Those are my mods for now. Kellen L., thanks for coming in here. Speg, thanks for coming in here. Speg, I just did your five giveaway video. Every challenge except for the patreon one which i haven't figured out how to do yet so i'll get in there and look at it watson collectibles thanks for coming in here so let's check this out if we got microphone working we're good uh you guys see i have 350 dollars worth of rolls i'm not selling them because i don't feel right selling customer wrapped uh or secondhand wrapped rolls uh you know whatever so so we'll get on this See if we find anything. I've heard either great or bad things about customer wraps, you know. So either find all silver, a lot of silver, or absolutely nothing because somebody's already been through it. So I haven't looked at these yet. Uh, we'll get on. We'll get in this, and we will uh, start hunting. I hope we find something. It's my first half dollar live stream, so I hope we find something. You know, if we don't, whatever. But. uh Otherwise, yeah, it's still 82 degrees in my house. If you guys can hear the washing machine going in the background, sorry for that. But uh, it should be off here soon. Be ready for at any time the doorbell might ring and then we got to get the AC fixed. So I'm pretty sure you guys will forgive me on that one. So I'm literally just sweating bullets right now. I did just have an Amazon drop right at my door, so that was pretty cool. So here we go. So all right, so let's get in this, and we will start start with these rolls. I got a little box over here. So Mike Wolf, welcome. Silver Keys, welcome. Thanks for coming in. David Carlisle, just saw you in here. Rob's cool coins. Thanks guys for coming in. So let's get on this. And I forgot to get my books out to see what I needed to stock to stock for my books. So I'll have to go through them later. All right, so nothing there. I'll put the 74 D's over here underneath the scope just to see if we have anything. Let's do this. There we go. So, nothing there, but we'll look at those as we go. My wolf, the troublemaker. Uh oh. I am be really, really cool if we, uh, oh man, I bet somebody's already looked at that one. It's a 74D, but I bet somebody's already looked at it because it's got the black ink on it. Either that or it was one and they didn't want somebody to have it. No. Already been looked at. So that doesn't give me too much faith in this box, but you know what? We'll try it anyways. I do have another box coming on Monday, another box coming on next Friday. So we will uh, we'll have some more fun next week. I have tomorrow off, so tomorrow I'm, I might be on hanging out. We never know. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Coin hunting couple, I will get this done before you guys go live. Should be a couple hours though, I believe. Silver Finder, thanks for coming in. Mike Wolf, thanks for coming in. Scratch and Go Crazy, thank you for coming in. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. I hope everybody's AC works, because mine currently does not. It has been a barrage of phone calls. Two thousand one almost had an NIFC. Almost <laughs> gonna find CHC coins. Coin hunting couple. If I find CHC coins in southern Texas, it is gonna that that means they've traveled a long ways. What's up, NC? Just you know, trying to survive over here in this heat. Nineteen eighty six. 
always a good year. Another 74 with a 47 on it. Let's see, 74D. Let's check it out. And I don't see it. So far, the newest one is a 2000 or 2001. They're finding them in Idaho, they're spreading. Yeah? I like when Rob keeps getting his same coins back or the the uh, Mark Denders. 94. Should I put a JW on a bunch of these and see if Rob gets them? Carson, don't worry, I will. I definitely will. Seventy four D with a mark on it. Let's check it out anyways. Oh. Jeremy Albritton. No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. The newest one we found is a 2001. And the oldest is a 71. So, 71 is pretty much the standard for half dollar boxes. Nothing there. I don't know. Let's see. Write a JW on it and throw them back. I might take a roll and just write JWs on it and see uh, how long it takes to get to Rob's stream. Because now, since my channel name is JW, so it actually makes an easier, better sense. So if other people find it, they may uh, they may think about it. Seventy-two. Anthony Murphy, how's it going? Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Like the coffee cup. You can see my coffee cup. Where? You mean this one? Oh, the coffee cup that I put your sticker on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I have a horrible memory. That initial shot in that uh, that initial shot for that video took me like 30 minutes just to edit and do. It was a slight pain, as you can imagine, but I feel like it turned out pretty good. I am my worst critic, and I feel like it turned out all right. So, Carson, thank you. you like that. Hey, CHC. How cool would it be if I found a 1970D in my own in my uh, in my own rolls? Spectacular! Throw some silver in there. No, I can't do that. Not for being my first stream, and I I kind of have morals, so. D. Yeah, young coin hunter, I'm okay with that, man. This is uh, this is just fine for me. You gotta learn to walk before you run. I guarantee you this is somebody something that somebody's already searched through. What else do you do with half dollars? We don't use them anymore, so the only thing they're here for is for us to search through. 1 p.m. Pacific, three hours from now. Got it. I would have to send it to you. You know, you're probably right. And like I told some people yesterday, sometimes you just don't have a choice of what's sent to you in the mail. 95 with a red mark on it. 
he got slashed. After this, depending on how long this goes, we might have to uh, might have to see what's in those Amazon boxes I got today. Speg, that was a test. Yeah, man. When I first started watching coin roll hunting, I was like, no, nah, they gotta they gotta do something because it's just entertainment, you know, it's entertainment. And then when I realized people were paying for the rolls, I was like, well, that's just straight dishonest if they did that. So I wouldn't be interested in partaking in that. Um, a little bit of a dirty one, toner kind of. So I was just like, well, okay, if they're doing that, then I'm not gonna partake. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. AZ Coins, how's it going, brother? Going good. I am doing well. I am losing weight by the minute because of my AC being broken, but otherwise it's pretty good. One of your best hunts, customer wraps. 42 and 3 rolled. Yeah, I uh, I heard somebody else had, what was it, Big Mill had a solid Walking Liberty hunt. Like, every roll was just solid walkers. So I definitely still have to check out that video. So we'll have to, uh, I'll have to go see about that. If you guys haven't, I did just put up a video of my coin shop finds for walkers. And that guy, he worked with me really well. Definitely got me some good stuff. Most of the walkers on my list he gave to me for melt, so that was pretty cool. Oh, come on. Alright, let's see. Two thousand and one, still the newest. Not even a single NIFC yet, except for a stack of two thousand eighteens that people keep seeming to find a lot. Coin hunting couple, don't feel bad. You are not the only one. All of these two thousand eighteens came from a uh, big mill. He found quite a few too. He didn't find six solid boxes, but he did find quite a few. Oh, there we go. My ugly coins. Gotta love it. I'm gonna put that one on the side. Make sure Lonnie and I started our ugly albums about the wrong at the same time. Because Rob used to send me all the ugly coins, and now I have a whole album of them. Half of them are silver, which is pretty cool. A 1998A Thirteen solid boxes for the last two weeks. That is horrible. I feel like your banks are just ordering and ordering and ordering, and they have like an influx of half dollar boxes. So they're just like, well, we'll just they want half dollars. We'll just give them half dollars. Here you go. Here's a whole bunch of new ones that we need to move. Brains or whoever 
delivers your stuff is just like, oh well, whatever. Half dollars or half dollars. They don't know how important it is for us to get good ones. I also thought about starting a Ring of Death book because a lot of these have Ring of Death on them. Gamble all. Yeah, Ashes, there is no games here. Young Coin Hunter, that's what I said too. Bad thing about selling a solid roll of 2018s like that with a Loomis wrapped or anything like that is that it's not a mint roll. So people, sometimes they don't trust it. <clears throat> There's another ring of death. 2000. It would be really cool if we found a magic coin. Another ugly one. 84. Really, really cool if we found ugly one. That one's super shiny. Yeah, that would be nice, CHC. That would be awesome. Sometimes it fools you. Oh, there we go. Nice ugly one. Probably the only thing I'm going to find is ugly ones here. That's alright. Maria Cervantes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. David Everson, hello. Thanks for coming in. If you uh, guys haven't seen, I believe Coleslaw, it's 100, 100 subs giveaway, right? I believe that's what it is. I know I went and commented on it. I just watched so many videos all day. Guys, I average between my three screens, so my computer, my phone, and my tablet, I average 20 hours of watch time a day. So, pretty ridiculous. Eleven six. Okay. Ugly Ender. I'm okay with that. Let's see. It's a 1974D. What are the chances it's a 1974D ugly double die? Eh, slim. Tried. Really nice seventy four.
Yep, Ring of Death album might be a good one to, an easy one to uh, fill. David Everson, yep, we've been looking at them. The 74Ds, been looking at them unless they have that black mark on them because somebody else has already looked at it. But even then, we're still looking at some of them. Pretty nice 2000. <laughs> see, I'm going through $350 worth because I went to one bank and they gave me $250 and then I took my advantage and went to Chase Bank for my $100. So I got ex what I could get. And then uh, here we are. Next week, well, tomorrow, so Monday, I have a box coming, and then later on in a week, I told them Friday, but I don't know, I might try to get it Thursday or something, that way I can get it hunted Thursday, and not impede other streams. This was kind of an impromptu, it was kind of an ugly one, I think it'll, it'll go home. Raymond Longy or Longy, welcome. Nineteen eighty nine. The ugly one, eighty one. Few uglies. At least I'm getting something here. You never know, these rolls might be just returned and then these rolls might just be a collection dump. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Oh, it's all good, NC. Here for you. Here for you. I just dumped that really nice 74. Dang it. Oh well. Carson, me too, brother. Me too. I'd be happy with an NIFC right now. You know, maybe even like a really, really impaired proof would be great. Here we go, these ones are the 100 from Chase. Those are the next ones up. Throw the band off of them. And here we go. Coins with Wide Daydreamer. Welcome. Well, may not be a collection duff, never know. Oh, another ugly. Oh, it's ugly on the back, not the front. Nothing. Uh, 
let's see. Not squat. Fierce. These are actually uh, after after nickels. These are the next easiest one to search. Pennies have the most varieties. Nickels are super easy. Half dollars are even easier, especially if you're just looking for silver or NIFCs. I'm just waiting to see like a 1964 pop up at me on the end. What's that little guy? Nice ugly one. 71D. Well, the ugly collection is going to get a nice little addition today. These have been written on. Probably for a reason. Ooh, 86. That's, that's actually a pretty nice and shiny one. The best year. 86. Except for 64. 64. Benjadi. Found a 1936 DOD Buffalo Nickel in my Buffalo Nickels last night. Very nice. Half dates are very easy on the eyes, especially me when I should be wearing glasses, but I don't. And for some of our geriatrics in the crowd, I'm assuming half dollars are much easier. Two really nice 74s right back to back. Philadelphia's. All right. Five rolls of 90% half dollars. Here we go. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Not yet. That's all right. We'll do this, and then we'll go through the Amazon boxes, and we'll call it a day. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to call about my air conditioning again. I'm going to tell them they got one hour, and then it's going higher. It's getting annoying. NC, was that directed at you? I don't know. Was it? is directed at whoever that wants to take it directed at them. Here we go and nothing.
nothing there. I resemble that statement. Ooh, that's a nice 74. This time, maybe I won't dump it. It's like he's got pimples. Kind of weird. It's like a shot with a BB or something. Nothing. If only 1980s were 1970s, I would be a happy man right now. Nothing. There. Nothing there. Last roll, last roll, last roll. And then we will get into the Amazon drop. Nothing. You know what, here we go. Let's do this. Oh look, edges. Nineteen sixty four. It's really nice. Well at least we got some uglies today. Pretty nice. Update the album. There we go. Well, there was that. Let's grab this ugly album and fill it. <coughs> all right, so first of all, that's an 86. Let's put this 74 in here if it upgrades. And it sure does. There we go. I'll have to go back through those because I probably just dumped a whole bunch that would fill this. There's those. And then the ugly book. Come on, luck. Gone for now. Here we go. And you guys already see it. Hashtag pond scum half. Hashtag, uh, what was this one? I think that's another hashtag pond scum half. RFT signed. 619 area code. All these ones are silver, except for this one. And once I get the uh, Dansko books or the Whitman Classic books, then I can take all the other albums that I have and start putting them in by years instead of just putting them in there. But for now, they just go in there. There we go. Done with that, let's put this box away. All right, here we go. Let's do this Amazon drop that just came in today. Hopefully there's something really cool in it. Carson, I got that at the coin shop, man. They have a uh, they have them on Amazon too. It's just uh, it's just called half dollar, I think, on the end. Half dollars, plain, no dates. The book number is nine zero four five. 
So if you want, you can look it up. It will focus. Well, the book number is 9045, so you can look up 9045, and it's a half-dollar plain, no-date book. Stephen Kenyon, thanks for coming in. Just finished up that half-dollar hunt. No fines, absolutely zero. So let's get this Amazon boxing, unboxing done. Got a couple here. And we have this huge envelope, which I'm pretty sure whatever's in here is absolutely tiny because it's definitely not this big, but let's check it out. Seriously, it's huge envelope for one book, for one book, that huge envelope. All right, sounds about right. Let me find my knife. Now that's a knife. Here is a empty bag. Cool. Okay. What is this? <laughs> this is my birthday present. That's cool. All right, here we go. So, in this box, the empty bag actually had two rolls of 2012 last year of issue Canadian one cents so pretty cool on that Alfred R don't know if you're in here but uh, told you I was getting them and I got them you had an envelope that big that only had a jeweler's loop in it I don't get it that's just a waste that is just a waste but last year of issue Canadian one cents it doesn't look like a mint roll, but they all look pretty shiny in there, so we'll see. I might uh might get some of those away. That's why I bought two rolls. Alright, so here's this one. I finally got me a scale. And it is accurate up to the one hundredth of a gram, not just the tenth. So you get accurate, more accurate readings. Almost just cut my finger right there. And I probably have better batteries than the China batteries. Let's see here. Take off all that. Okay. Yeah. Take off the blue. Let me check. All right.
Okie dokie. Tear that out. And let's see. We are on grams. Let's go to ounces. This should be one ounce. Close enough. There we go. Those are the three copper rounds I got. What's that do? Oh, it just protects it. Alrighty. So there's that. Oh, let's put this on there. So let's go back to grams. And ASMR. What do you mean? Oh, foil removal? Yeah. Let's see. 24.2. That is light, I believe. Oh, my phone's busy. Let's check. So, Young, this is your coin. But I looked at it, and I was looking at it, and it felt like the wrong metal. It just felt too light to me. I'm pretty sure it is, but let me look. Twenty six point seven three, so yeah, it's two grams light. So, yep. But young, I will take that. Uh, I'll try to tone it as much as I can. I'm not gonna try to clean all of the stuff out of it, but I'll try to tone it and try to make something cool. And then uh, I'll send you pictures before I send it back to you. Yeah, this is the fake one. He said he bought it knowing it was fake, so not bad. All right, here we go. All right, so what's left in the box? And I do keep all my packages because I move so much. So two years, the two Canadian rolls. I'll get to the uh, birthday present last. Lincoln Central Coins, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Boom. Oops. Alright, so we got a few more albums that we can start filling finally. We got a Canadian 25 cents. Let's see, so that's number five. This is number six. Canadian small cents number two. So number one, number two, five and six, and this is number four. So I think I have some of the quarters from each each of those albums, so that's why I got those three. I have nickel albums on the way. And because I'm a book nerd, guidebook of Canadian coins and tokens. So now I got something to read. So pretty cool. Go through and learn a little bit. Kind of looks like the uh, red book of Canadian coins, kind of. Got some tokens in there too. Very cool. All right, so there's that. Now let's get to this 3D lamp illusion. So my girlfriend and I have a kind of a running joke about me being Batman secretly. I guess it's not a secret since I just told you. And. plug in somewhere Ooh. all right let's set this up
You guys are going to love it. Let me put this full screen here. Watch out, here comes my face. There we go. Oh yes, it's a 3D Batman. That is just cool. And it goes to red. And green. That's awesome. Put that down there. Bring this back. How you guys like that? It's pretty cool. I'm gonna go by my bed. Very, very cool. Found a 24 karat bracelet. William Fowler, how's it going, brother? I was just gonna ask if you had pictures or uh, you know anything that came from your your hunt. Very cool. So guys, you can look for videos uh, coming up now with the Canadian coins that I have, with uh, the ones that I got in the mail. Alfred R. sent a whole roll. Jan Lewitt sent a whole roll of uh, some Canadian cents. Jan also sent some quarters, some half dollars, some dollars, and some nickels, so I can put those in the albums. So very cool, I'll have to get around to that. I got a couple more videos to put out today, which they are already created. I just have to uh, put them out. We will be doing a 500 uh, subs giveaway. I just don't know when. I don't know what I want to give away. It will include these three copper rounds because I think I'm going to tone them live, and then we will go from there. So they, we might tone them live. We might not. I might just announce it live and then tone them on my own time because it's going to take a while. So. Copper usually doesn't take all that long, but it would be my luck that you guys would sit here and look at my beautiful face while these are taking forever. So, so yeah. So, well, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for coming in here. Uh, very cool. I appreciate your support. Appreciate everybody coming in here. Big Mill, what's going on, brother? Big Mill literally just missed it, brother. Uh, we went through $350, a half dollars. Big old zero for fines. Uh, nothing crazy. So I just did a little bit of an Amazon unboxing because they stopped by the they stopped by the house today. So I got some Canadian cents, some books, all that stuff. Big Mill, it's all good. You can go back and rewatch it. So. Yep, so you guys be looking out for the 500 giveaway. Uh, look out for a couple more videos today. Since I finally been getting rolls, I can actually do roll hunts. Catherine Lee, thanks for coming in. Uh, I would extend this, but there's really nothing else I can show you guys. So we can sit here and go through like 10 pounds of copper, but I don't think that's uh, something I want to do for a live stream. So thank you guys for coming in. We will be getting all these albums updated and put together. So you guys will have something else to watch. So very cool. Let's call it good. Young Queen Hunter, I'll get on this um, fake Morgan dollar for you. And then send it back. Send it your way. Hope everybody has a good Sunday. Thank you for coming in. I will see you all later. All right. Oh yeah, the uh, the Discord. I will put up the Discord if you guys want to join it. Uh, it's just a little chat room that we all kind of got together for talking, like when live streams aren't going. So let me put that in here real quick. If real quick works. All right, here it is. I'll spam my own channel. So that is the Discord. If you guys want, you can come in there and chat. It's just like chatting in here uh, with all the same type of people, all that stuff too. So 
Uh, the one for your giveaway drawing. Let me look. Is that a... Oh, that's just your channel, right? Yeah. Let me find the video. Alright, so this is Coleslaw's giveaway going on. Big Mill, if you haven't been in there, we got something else going on in there too. So it's uh it's not it's not everybody, everybody. So we have one for all the originals too. But all right guys, let me uh let me close this down. Green Co, thanks for coming in. You got like the last ten seconds of the stream. Really appreciate you coming in here though. Um you didn't really miss much. There was $350 worth of half dollars, and not a single one of them was a find. So, but it was fun anyways. Tomorrow I will have a whole nother box. Uh, we might do that during the day because I have off of work. Um, if you guys don't work during the day or you somehow have tomorrow off, please come and join. If not, I'm just going to stream it and call it good, and then people can watch it later on. So very cool I like streams a little bit more it's a little bit more fun but Jonathan C Smoko you gotta make sure the uh, the bell is actually rung uh, there's two different settings for the bell there's all and then there's some so you can make sure it's just got the uh, the all checked so but otherwise uh, we'll be doing another stream more than likely tomorrow if not I'll be putting out some other videos to keep you guys occupied so thank you for coming in here and I will see you next time.